put stuff on in all my videos are my big areas. My forehead. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for stopping in today. Really quickly, if you have not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you know every time I share a video with you guys. Um, if I didn't say it, I am Andy, I'm the host of the page, and I'm really appreciative of you watching this. We are going to do a good old fashioned makeup tutorial today. I am going to share with you guys my makeup case. Now, I bought this makeup case about a year ago. I absolutely love it. I got it because I knew we were going on a cruise in December and I um, I wanted to have something that was really big that could hold all the makeup that I was going to be bringing with me. This is the beauty herself. She is the Caboodles Femme Fatale collection. She's like normally $39 I think. Sometimes they put them on sale. Not very often. I bought mine for full price but my mom loved it so much I got her one at Christmas time and it was on sale for like $27 but I can fit a good amount in there. Um, I normally keep these brushes that I have on my table in this bag as well. Like when I travel especially, they're, they're gonna be in there, but I put them in the cup for filming purposes um, so you guys can kinda see and it was easier for me to pull from, so. So today I'm just gonna do the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, this is the travel size. I got it in a holiday collection that they put out, like maybe not this year, but last year. Okay. So now that my, my uh, primer's all good and put on there, I'm going to pull out my Brow Wow Benefit Conditioning Primer for your eyebrow hairs. Love this guy. I actually don't have a backup of this one, surprisingly. He just doesn't go on sale very often, so I normally buy him in sets, and the sets are like 40 bucks. So. When I'm trying to do my eyebrows quickly, this is pretty much my go-to. It is the Becca, um, Shadow and Light Brow Contour Mousse in the color Mocha. This is what it looks like on the inside. I have two of these. I got them uh, like a year ago on sale at Sephora. It is so easy to use. I can really, I can produce a really good brow if I'm going quickly in like 10 minutes with this guy, which is very fast for me. So I just take like a little bit on the edge of the brush. I just kind of dab it on there. And then you can see in the lid where I've like tapped it out. And that's just, just kind of like to keep it from getting clumpy. You just kind of like spread it on your brush. And I normally come in and I normally do the back half first with this particular one. I don't do that for my brows every time. It's just this pomade. I feel like it's the best way to go about it. So I just kind of get in there, make nice, crisp, even lines. Pretty much already I've got a pretty solid shape there. I mean, obviously it needs to be cleaned up. Obviously it needs to be touched up in a couple places where it's a little bit lighter. But just in whatever, 30 seconds to a minute, I have made a decent shaped eyebrow. And it really is just, I can't explain. It just goes on so smoothly. Like I've worked with pomades before and I've used some more expensive brands. I've used some cheaper brands. And some of them just don't spread that well. And this one, this Becca one, just, I'm telling you guys, like. So they both have a good structure now. Um, I'm gonna go in with this guy, which is just like a little Ulta brow gel. It's just a plain, clear Ulta brow gel. It's a little bit discolored now because of obviously after you put product on and then you use it, it's gonna absorb some of that product. So, but it is a clear gel. It goes on clear, it stays clear. And it just helps kind of keep all of my natural eyebrow hairs in place. So that way when I'm going in and trying to see where I still need to fill in areas and what I need to fill in, it kind of helps it out. This is the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. It's waterproof. It's in the color Light Cool. I've been using this guy for like four years. I discovered him a while ago. Loved him for just this purpose. Literally the only thing I use, I have like eight backups of these concealers because every time they do buy two get two free, I pretty much buy some more ones. Um, but I go through them fast because I use them every single day on my eyebrows. So I just, I'm just like really lightly tapping right under the line. I think the reason I like this concealer so much is like the formula is good. It's super affordable and the brush is perfect for eyebrows. I can already tell just from doing this, I'm gonna have to go in and touch them up. But that's, I mean, what I, you saw what I did was super rough, so I, I wasn't expecting it to be perfect. Getting that all blended in. And this is this brush's sole purpose is to do this. This is what he does. And when he gets dirty, I wash him and he starts over. So that helps. 
Honestly, the concealer is so shocking. Every time, I, I mean, I've been doing this for so long and every time I do it, I'm just like, wow, that really just does make a difference. I think that's why I love makeup so much is because it's just so cool to see the transformation. It's like, I'm not, some people are artists and some people can draw and sculpt and I can't do that, but I have learned how to work with makeup and that's something that, that counts in some way. So what I like to do from here is I do a darker concealer under my eyes this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is one of the biggest things in the makeup community. It's so incredible because it's so affordable. I just ordered two in this color. Um, I actually got, this is color Creamy Beige. And I got this as a free gift and I really, like when I first saw it, I was like, that's gonna be way too dark for my skin. And as you can tell, it's much darker than my skin is, but it does such a good job as like a base for my foundation before I put a little bit of a lighter foundation over it. I just absolutely love it. And it's, the coverage is incredible. So basically I like to make like a war paint and then I blend it all in. Cause you know what ladies, we're out here doing war. And gentlemen, cause if you're a gentleman doing makeup, then you're my hero because it's taken me so long to learn and the world tells me as a woman I'm supposed to wear makeup, so damn, good on you. Um, so as you can see, it's like super kind of like blotchy still, but that was the goal anyway, so I'm not really concerned about that. This is one of my favorite foundations in the world. It is the Cargo Cosmetics Swimmables. It is a completely waterproof foundation. I mean, you can dip your head in a swimming pool and that stuff is not coming off. And I'm gonna mix it with another color because I, I mentioned before that I normally mix my foundations. Um, but I'm just gonna take the wand and I'm just gonna spread it and as you guys can see pretty much the areas that I put stuff on in all my videos are my big areas my forehead <laughs> Okay, we're fine now. We're good. That does that often normally it falls on me and like gets all over my clothes I've literally ruined shirts doing that Okay, so with that one, I'm going to use the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. It's a little excessive, but like I said, I normally drag it down my skin, so it's fine. And I'm also going to use the Color FX Glitter Drops, and I'm going to drop a, like two drops into it here. And that really just gives you like this sun-kissed look. I can't explain it, but I saw people doing this all over Instagram, and I was like, that just seems weird. I don't want my whole face to be glittery. It doesn't make your whole face glittery. I mean, it does, but it's like in the most subtle way. It's just so beautiful. It makes you look sun-kissed and like a goddess. It's just so nicely mattifying. Like as you start doing this, it dries so quickly and so evenly. It's beautiful. The NYX one is a little bit harder to get all the way in there. And so that's why it's gonna take me a hot minute to kind of get this stuff all together, but you'll see it, it will come together. So this is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. This is probably one of the best setting powders on the market. So I'm just gonna tap some into the lid. This one's coming towards the end of its life. I've got another one in backup, but this one's definitely getting ready to go. And I'm just gonna take my angled sponge and just let my face set. I really like the Urban Decay uh, eyeshadow primer potion. I think that's probably one of the most well-known ones on the market. Um, I have quite a few of them from like different sample sizes I've gotten from kits. Eyeshadow primer, I probably could have one and it would, it would last me a year. Um, but I mean, I always get them in kits and stuff, so I do have a good stack of backups, not necessarily because I'm always purchasing them, just because I always wind up somehow acquiring them, so. Same thing with this eye. And this, you do wanna move quickly with this, because I mean, it's a primer, so it's gonna set, you know? It, that's the goal of it is. So as you can see, that's pretty well blended in now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, some people, their faces bake for a lot longer. I don't normally do that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and blend it all out. I mean, the nice thing about this powder is it's translucent, so it may lighten your skin or your color a little bit. But honestly, that's also part of my goal is I want it to get in there and kind of, you know, just set that color in there. Um, now, even though I just set my face, I'm going to go back with another another powder foundation. This one is actually a foundation though. This is not a setting powder, this is a foundation. And this is something that I have found works best for my skin because it's so combination-y. This is the Celebration Foundation from IT Cosmetics in the color Light. This is the Cheek Parade from Benefit. It's beautiful cheek palette. Uh, as you can see, I've also panned these. So I honestly could go on a trip and just have this for contour and blush and be totally fine because it gives me a variety. Um, I'm using Hoola instead of Hoola Light today because I want it to be a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna go along my cheekbone 
I can kind of see. I don't often use True Contour. I have lots of contour palettes. Okay, so I um, I went ahead and finished up with the palettes and I'm gonna move on to blush. So I'm going to use the Laura Geller Baked in Bulk. Uh, try that again. The Laura Geller Baked Blush in Brighton. Uh, it looks like this. It's like a nice pinky, ready orange color. Um, I love these. This came in my boxy charm actually one month. Um, but I just take that same the same brush that I use to do my contour and I put a little bit of blush on it. And I'm just gonna go like from my cheeks out. And you can see it's got like this nice glitter tone to it. I love Lori Gellish products, like especially her bake collection. It's just so easy to work with and it's so nice and she has such pretty colors that are like natural but usable. I really am a huge fan. I was so excited when I found out I was getting this in my boxy channel. I was like, oh, no way. I'm gonna do highlight first and my highlight that I want to use is going to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette. Look at how big that is. So beautiful. Um, but this came in my Ipsy and um, it's just does such a good job of picking up highlight and putting it like exactly where you want to because I think the issue with highlight a lot of times is if it gets messy it just like you just look like you bathe in glitter which isn't a problem for me but some people just don't like it. So. And I'd always do the tip so I always like I want to have a, a shiny nose. I've said it in my Tarte video I want to look like Rudolph. I'm going to use these two palettes. This is the pure my Little Pony the movie eyeshadow palette. I got it when it was super on sale and like forever it just kind of sat in my collection because it's the colors like they're so beautiful but they're kind of hard to use sometimes because they're just like so out there but I mean it works for My Little Pony but like it's just a good formula and I really love the pinks and the reds and the glitter shades so and I'm going to take this super bright pigmented pink color right here this one right here and I am going to just do little circular motions using this brush and you can tell that man that palette is so pigmented like you can see on, that was like three swipes of that brush and it was like oh yes let me absorb all the colors let me make you look like a flamingo and I'm just going to take it and on my outer corners I'm just gonna go like almost all the way up to the brow line in just like a little circular motion and that's just really, when you're working with pigmented color, I feel like it's just much easier to go ahead and dab the color on rather than like try and swipe it because then it keeps it in a more concentrated area. I'm gonna touch up this side a little bit. I just want to make them look as even as possible. That is my whole goal in life. So that's pretty good. Um, it's a nice base on there. And I'm gonna switch over now to the Pinks and Palms palette. And I'm going to do this light pink right here. That lighter color into the darker color into the eye. So you're just kind of accentuating the color, but you're not putting that same harsh color. So that's kind of like, that's the goal. That's what we're working at. It's just kind of making it a little bit lighter, a little bit more blended in. Now, we're going to pull out the Mac Daddy of glitter, the Ciate Eye Luster. And I, I just want you guys to see it is so cool and I don't like if you guys can see how glittery it is already oh, so beautiful and I'm excited because I ordered I put in like four Ulta orders since we decided we were starting the channel and since we've like been producing stuff I'm like oh my gosh I'm gonna order so much makeup because I can haul it all and then I can show you guys and it's just giving me the worst excuse to spend an obscene amount of money at Ulta and I love my glitter y'all know I love my glitter so so excited about how well that is. I can't believe I haven't used it before now because I've had it for months. It's depressing, but I'm actually gonna just throw in the mix. I'm gonna pull out a third party and I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place Nubia 3 Coral Palette. I don't need too harsh of a color. I just want it to be a little bit more of a blended look so that there's not this harsh, harsh line of glitter. I'm gonna get a little bit of the white color that's on that pure palette. If you don't have the palette and you really are trying to recreate this look, then find any all white eyeshadow and you're gonna be able to do this, so. For mascara, I am going to show you guys, once again, God, this is my BoxyCharm. Listen, I love BoxyCharm. Once again, they don't sponsor me. If they did, that'd be swell, but they don't yet but they will one day. But I am a huge supporter and if you guys don't have a BoxyCharm, 
I highly recommend it. It is such a good way to get quality products and to discover new things that you're gonna love. So I got this Grande Mascara with lash boosting formula from them. Love it, it's great. It's the sleekest little like bullet shaped container and it feels so nice in your hands. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm gonna fix my hair. I'm gonna take this out. Like I said, I need to fix my hair because I need to fix it. So as you can see, I, I did a really pretty glitter look. This is literally just for today, just for me going out and living my life. It's not a special occasion or anything. This is just who I am as a person. Very, very bright and uh, loud in terms of what my colors choices are. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really thank you for watching and, and dealing with my shenanigans and putting up with me talking all the time. Um, if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And like I said in the beginning, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell because I would love to see you back on our page. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope you all stay girly, but with a dark twist.